But yes, thank you very much. The presentation on fracking was very clear um, in its uh, industrial practices that violate the rights of nature. The visual slide presentation was clear in its description of environmental damages, water and air contamination, and what appeared was a lack of environmental management and regulation. I especially cite this because this lack of environmental management comes from a country that prides itself on environmental protection laws and regulations and on its human rights. And that country is the country that I come from. The presentation profiled the global expansion of fracking in countries, for example, Canada, Russia, Asia, South Africa, Mexico, South America, Australia, and many others. If the U.S. cannot handle the environmental management of this extractive industry, how can there be expectations that other countries can manage it? Just in the U.S., millions of gallons annually per fracking site become wastewater with a large percentage of that not being able to be reclaimed. With the development of fracking globally, the figure of millions of gallons can easily be multiplied to alarming rates of loss of clean water used in the processing of extracting shale gas and shale oil and the toxic releases of contaminated water ranging from surface runoffs, but also local concerns as we saw in the presentation of toxic byproducts and contaminated water that's injected back into Mother Earth. As the presenter stated, there are already causes of toxic water that is pumped into Mother Earth to leak into the subsurface, risking groundwater and aquifers. This is the violation in our initiative, in our inspiration, in this tribunal to protect and recognize the rights of nature, the rights of water, the rights of the soil and the air, the rights of Mother Earth. So at this point, I have no hesitation that this tribunal accept this case and be able to continue to address this issue because this issue is also couched in the arena of part of climate justice, some of the uh, false solutions being uh, addressed and related to unconventional oil. In many of the countries, they are looking at shale, gas, and this new form of extractive uh, technologies as a solution, as a solution uh, to, um, to address these low carbon technologies. And this is one of those areas, and as we heard in the presentation, it is not low carbon from the flaring that's being uh, uh, technologies that were depicted on the, on the slide presentation, but also in contamination of water. So at this point, um, we admit this case as a tribunal, accept this case, and it's something that we need to further um, uh, look at. Thank you.